Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jealousy Before here, bring you guys more Battlefield Hardline Beta. Today, I would like to talk about how to protect the vault a lot easier and also a lot more safer. Because there's a lot of ways you can do it. You can just go in there and fuck shit up or go in there like a Rambo or something. But there are easier ways to survive in there because it is a freaking jungle and everybody's just rushing their asses in there to steal the money. If you're on the cop side, by the way, this is only on the cop side. I'm, I will talk about the enemy side later on. Like if you're a robber, I'll talk to you guys about uh, how to actually sneak in a little bit better in there and take the money a lot quicker. But that will be in another video. Today, I would like to talk about the cop side in heist mode. In order for you to survive longer in heist mode, you gotta have the right pieces of equipment. Not just the guns. The equipment is very important to have. You know, some some kind of equipment going on. And uh, one of the main pieces of equipment that I've been noticing lately is that you got to carry the gas mask 24-7. Because let me tell you this, guys. Everybody can carry tear gas. But guess how many? Three tear gas cans at a time. So you can just have three people from the enemy team throwing tear gas 24-7 in there. And there will be like at least nine tear gas cans inside the freaking vault. And you're going to die of freaking toxin because... Your health is getting affected. You're going to be an easier target to take down because your health is being affected. This takes like away like at least four to five health like per second or something like that. I'm not sure how much, but that's how it takes a little bit of health, but it still does a big factor because it does affect your your vision. It starts to get a little bit blurry and, you know, we're not prepared to shoot. Your freaking sight is all over the goddamn place. So, wear the gas mask. It is very important. It does protect your awareness in shooting. And also, you're a lot prepared to go to take all the enemy who threw that tear gas. Because they're ready to go where you're at. And if it doesn't affect you, they're going to be thinking like, oh, you're dying. You're going to be an easy target because you're like, you're saving your ass from, your, from the tear gas or something. Or you're running away and they're going to shoot you from the back. But no, it's not going to happen because you're wearing the mask. So buy it right now. You have a lot of in-game currency. That will be the first thing you need to buy. You're barely starting Battlefield, Battlefield Hardline right now at this point. Buy the freaking gas mask. It will save your ass and you're going to rack up them kills because they're thinking that you're dying, but you're not. And they're going to come in packs and you're going to be ready to shoot. So believe me, guys, I've done this before several times in this gameplay in, in heist mode that, uh, you know, they, they think I'm dying, but I'm not. So. I suggest to use it and you're gonna be racking up then kills a lot more often another piece of equipment that you really really need will be the incendiary grenade now this one does cost a little bit more than the gas mask I believe it's like four G's or so but it will not take you that long to unlock you know it is pretty much quickly to unlock you can buy a, this incendiary grenade like later on or, or any point in, in battlefield hard at like, any point it doesn't really matter you have to buy it like right away but um it is very important to have because um, you can chop off routes to the vault. And you know when everybody's heading to the vault, it's going to be through only like two paths most of the time. The, the roof path, yes, they'll sometimes do it, but they're sometimes like so noobish they don't even know there's a freaking third path. But those two main paths, you know, they pretty much have like narrow hallways. And if you were to throw in an incendiary grenade in there, you can pretty much take out like a whole huge crowd of enemies. And I've done it before. I did post that video where I got like seven kills in a row in 10 seconds. And you will see how the incendiary grenade, it is very effective to use. And it ha I had so much fun using it because you can just see people just running towards the outside. Like, oh, fuck this fire and shit. Like, they, no, they want to yell that in their mics because you can't hear them, by the way. But, you know, you can see their reaction once they see the freaking incendiary grenade go off. Because they want to save their lives. They want to save their KDs and shit. They're running out of there. So, and also, it cuts the path. You're going to slow down the enemy even more to get to the vault. So, it does affect like a whole hallway sometimes. The whole hallway. It just depends how far you throw it also. Because you got to land it right in between the vault and the entrance towards the vault. And if you do the, if you do it the correct way, they're done though. All you have to do is just, just throw another into their grenade. They're going to be fucked. It does affect a large area, by the way. So... Those are my tips, guys. Carry these two pieces of equipment and also the tear gas. It is very important to have also, just in case, you know, you can have either the incendiary grenade or the tear gas. The tear gas does also slow down the enemy, but it does less damage. I switched from the tear gas to the incendiary grenade and I had more better results. So it's incendiary grenade over tear gas at this point. 
Because you never know at this point, everybody's wearing the gas mask and this doesn't affect them anymore. So that's why I, I suggest to, to uh, you know, equip the incendiary grenade over the tear gas because the incendiary grenade does not have any protection against anyone. So, um, so yeah. So that's it, guys. Those are my tips. So hopefully you guys use them and use them wisely because it's going to save your ass. You're going to rack up the kills. I promise you that. So subscribe for more, guys. If you guys want to see more Battlefield Hardline beta.